Oklahoma conducts more executions per capita than any other state. Since last month, the state has executed three death row inmates. As 2 News reporter Casey Roebuck shows us in tonight's segment two, it's now become the focus of a documentary featuring a Tulsa woman whose daughter was murdered. I don't feel any mean or harsh or hate for him anymore. Edith Scholes understands a mother's need for justice. In 1992, her teenage daughter, Laura Dett, was gunned down as she talked with Edith on the phone because the shooter, Eric Berry, wanted Laura Dett's car. In the wake of her daughter's death, Edith wanted Berry to pay with his life. At that time, was to um, this guy to die. But with time and with working with both victims and suspects' families through her organization, Families of Murdered Children, Edith's stance on the death penalty softened. Barry was convicted. The death penalty was taken off the table by prosecutors at her request. I look at both sides and I've talked to both sides. So now it's not who, it's what they did and the motive behind what they did. It was that change of heart that landed Edith in the national spotlight. She's featured in a new documentary by the English language channel of Al Jazeera called Fault Lines, Behind the Walls of Oklahoma's Death Row. It features those opposed to the death penalty. I don't, for the love of God, know how a person can claim to be a Christian, you know, a Catholic, and support killing somebody. And those who support it, such as former Governor Frank Keating. Is stepping in your shoes and saying, you're gonna, you've done it once, we're not going to let you do it again. Scholes found sharing her story therapeutic. She hopes it will bring comfort to other victims' families who were facing the same difficult decisions she struggled with. Casey Roebuck, 2 News, works for you. Well, you can watch part of the documentary on KJRH.com. Look under Segment 2. According to the Department of Corrections, there are currently no executions scheduled in Oklahoma in the immediate future.